a little later. Phil Kogan has been in Illinois, around, in and around the Chicago area all week. He's got a little something special for us this morning. What's up, Phil? Well, Larry, right now I am in the heart of the Polish community here in Chicago, and a huge part of uh, the Polish culture is polka music. We're going to have some right. polka music, and the king of Chicago polka music, Eddie Blazonczyk, uh, we're going to be finding out a little bit about polka music from this uh, superstar of polka music. We expect you guys to polka strut, that's for sure. We're going to polka strut. Don't worry about that. Good to hear. Hey, hey, Suzanne yeah. Wong is in New York City today, uh, just up the street from us, actually, at a very special kind of hospital. Suzanne? Hey, Lori. I'm on the Upper East Side of New York City, outside a very specialized hospital. Inside is Irving Chase, a man whose job it is to keep childhood memories alive. He's the doctor at the New York Doll Hospital, where patients are sent from all over the world to be healed by him. Bette Midler has brought her dolls here to be healed. And when we come back, we're going to go inside, meet Irving, and find out how he works his magic. And Bob, he fixes puppets, too, so pay attention. And oh, look, thank goodness. And look at all those little doll lawyers hanging around outside the hospital. <laughs> all that's all right. coming up on the that's show. That's all coming up. Yeah. It's first, a Friday tradition. Oh, yes. For, a show, up, that's, oh, for a show that's six weeks old, we already have... Friday tradition. Definitely. You are invited to participate if you would get up at home. All right? Stand the up. weekend is almost upon yes, us. Stand. There's no way to do this wrong. It's an improvisational dance to the weekend. We'll be heading in the trajectory, Olivia, of I the know. ballroom. But do I have to polka? You have to. I don't no, know. No, you don't have to polka. It's the interpretive dance. Rob, it's whatever you music want. you've Absolutely. decided to start off for this, the Friday Strut. Do you want to say you? coming up, Andrew Shue from Melrose Place, but next, we'll meet Eddie, the king of the polka right, in so Chicago, on. Illinois. Stay with us. It's party day on Fox After Breakfast. Oh, and other movies like that. Have all of these, uh, before we go to Phil, for a little Friday polka, have, have the actresses and actors realize what you thought they would in the writing of the characters? Um, you know, I, I, no one will believe it, but when I was writing for Swives, I needed to think of people mm -hmm. to, to personify. I named Annie for Annie Hall, because yeah, I thought yeah. she'd be perfect. And that was Brenda. I named her with a B for that. Yeah. Uh, only Elise, the sort of glacial, um, yeah, uh, great Kelly type. Person. Well, in the book, she's a little more uh, cool. Yeah. Um, was I didn't think, of course, of Goldie Hawn, but um, goes to show what I know because yeah. she's she's a maybe she she's steals wonderful. the picture. She's, she's taboo. The only thing I thought the picture needed, and I saw it on Monday night in the screening. Towards uh, towards the end, I thought, you know, if they'd only burst into a polka, that was the only thing <laughs> that I thought. Yeah. What a, right. what a hey, sneaky you know, way to. Just, right. He said that to me. He yeah. said that yeah. to me when we left the theater. They needed a polka. No polka. Mm -hmm. You know, no. next next time I see um, sure. Scott Rudin, I'll tell him what you said. For the bestseller film, yeah, because absolutely. we're going to go to Phil just to just to prove my point. Phil Kogan's with us in Let's Chicago, about to polka with the king, right? Absolutely, Tom, the king. This music just wants you, you just want to dance when you hear this music. I mentioned before that this was the largest Polish community outside of uh, Warsaw, Poland, and uh, they're trying to keep that uh, culture alive. One of those guys that's doing that is a superstar in terms of uh, polka music. This man won uh, a Grammy Award back in 1987, and uh, if anyone knows anything about polka music, it's this, this man right here. Guys, say hello to, uh, to Eddie Blazonczyk. Hi, folks. How are you? Hi, nice Eddie. to see you. It's great to have you with us this morning. Tell us, uh, just so we understand exactly what polka music is. 
Polka music is happiness. Polka music is a happy music. You got you can't help but snap your fingers or tap your toes when you hear a polka like you hear in the background right now. I mean, there's never brawls at these polka dances or anything like that. People are here to have fun, and that's what polka music is all about. And Bobby, I hope you're dancing as well because this music is good for puppets to dance to as well. Oh yeah. Tell me a little. Tell me a little bit about uh, your background because I understand you started in rock and roll and you got into this. I started back in rock and roll around 1957. I was known as Eddie. Bell and the Bel Airs. Uh, we had a recording contract at that time with the Mercury people here in Chicago. We had one hit, it was High O Silver. We were on American Bandstand with Dick Clark, and then I switched back over to Polkas here in 1963. And ever since 1963, that's what I've been doing. No Tom, check out these rock no and roll ball. glasses. He's still got them. <laughs> Tell me, how important is, it, is this music in terms of keeping the heritage, the, uh, the Polish culture alive? It's very important to me as an individual because I was brought up in the uh, polka music industry. My mom had a ballroom uh, and uh, I just like, enjoy polka music. I enjoy what I'm doing and it's a happy music and like I told you, it means a very, very lot to me. Now we've got one king here, Tom. Let me show you another king because this man has the moves in terms of polka music. I want to introduce you to uh, Little Wally, and Little Wally had a huge influence on Eddie as Eddie was growing up. He mentioned that his mom had a ballroom, and ballroom. you used to play there? Ballroom, yes. That's all. I used to play there every Sunday, Sunday afternoon. And, and this man yes. is a polka king now? Well, he's one of the polka kings, yes. And you're the other one? Ah, uh, yes. Uh, they call me the world's polka king. Here's our first and polka ball. Eddie Blazoyce again the king. They're all kings. Uh -oh. and, he, and he loves to dance. So what we want to do is we want to finish up here with uh, one of Eddie's, well, Eddie's award-winning piece of music. And on the way through, I just want, you guys sit up over there, Eddie. I just want to ask Pat, turn around this way. Tom, this is Pat, and Pat, you're a huge fan of Eddie? Absolutely. I've known him all my life. He is nation's number one. You want to hear the nation's number one, Tom? I'd love to, yeah. yeah a little polka music. Oh, yeah. The nation's number one. This is a, a polka celebration. That's what it's called. We're going to leave you right now with this piece of music. Eddie Blazonczyk, all his fans are out here this morning. Take it away, guys. <laughs> all right, we're going to take the polka celebration. Happy to be Never seen a brawl. Laurie? <laughs> <laughs> Words to live by. Thank you very much. A lot of actors want to help uh, 